Well, two Palestinians have been killed in the village of Kibat al-Tawil near Nablus in the occupied West Bank. The Palestinian Wafa news agency is reporting that they were shot by Israeli settlers. The flare-up in violence follows the disappearance of a 14-year-old settler whose body was found on Saturday. When we got there, settlers were there and Israeli forces. Then 50 more settlers came. They started pepper spraying us. Then I was hit by a rock on the back of my head. I fell and they beat me with sticks. I kept running and tripping. Both soldiers and settlers were shooting at us. We were less than 20 meters away. They kept running and shooting at people. Well, let's bring in Wassam Ahmad. He is the head of the Center for Applied International Law at the Palestinian Human Rights Organization, Al Haq. He joins us now from Ramallah. Wassam, from the pictures we've been seeing over the last few days, the homes, the cars set on fire, it feels a little like the character of the settler violence we've been seeing has changed, become even more vicious. Is that something you've noticed? Well, I think uh, it's important to see the connection between the settler uh, uh, violence uh, in, in the West Bank and the ongoing uh, genocide being perpetrated in Gaza, and all uh, fueled by this uh, emboldened uh, sense of impunity that uh, Israel enjoys. And uh, the, the settlers are uh, an integral part of this settler colonial regime and form the, the tip of the spear in these uh, settler colonial policies. Uh, that uh, continue to be uh, uh, fueled by uh, Israeli policy for uh, settler expansion and co the continued colonization of Palestine. Uh, you talk about impunity. There have been reports of Israeli soldiers, too, present during some of the settler violence incidents we've seen. How complicit is the army? Well, I think uh, there's a strong symbiotic uh, relationship between uh, uh, the uh, Israeli occupying uh, forces and the Israeli uh, settlers um, uh, working in, uh, in collaboration uh, to, uh, to various levels, um, or at the very least, uh, the Israeli uh, occupying forces allowing uh, the settlers uh, to, uh, to carry out uh, these attacks um, uh, without uh, uh, doing anything to prevent them. Uh, you're in Ramallah, and I've been wondering, what can the Palestinian Authority do? Is there anything they can do in, in terms of response or, or trying to keep people safe? Well, I mean, the, the Palestinian Authority has a very limited uh, capacity within uh, uh, occupied Palestinian territory, but I think it's uh, in, uh, inherent... Uh, uh, um, upon the, the international community to step in. This is a, a context of the colonizer and colonized, and the idea that the colonizer, uh, with its limited capacity to confront uh, uh, the, the colonizer in this uh, asymmetrical power dynamics is, uh, is absurd. This is where the international community needs to step up and play the role uh, to uh, enforce uh, um, and ensure the respect there for international law. Otherwise, uh, the continued impunity that Israel will enjoy will trickle down into the mindset of its uh, population as a whole, specifically these uh, Israeli settlers uh, that uh, are very much uh, benefiting from uh, this uh, colonial policy that uh, continues uh, to be fueled uh, by uh, Israeli policies. Well, when it comes to international law, we know these settlements are illegal. The United Nations has said so. There are now also European and US sanctions in place for some people. Have, has any of that made a difference? Well, I think these are uh, token measures that uh, um, attempt to uh, provide some sort of facade that uh, action is being taken when uh, inherently it is the settler colonial regime as a whole that needs to be sanctioned. Um, and unless that happens, unless the entirety of the economic incentive structure that continues to perpetuate the colonization of Palestine is addressed, uh, these uh, individual token piecemeal measures uh, will have no effect. Uh, on the contrary, they further embolden uh, these kind of actions because uh, they sense that there is no real desire to address mm. the root cause of the problem, which is this Israeli settler colonial regime uh, that is breaching uh, international law on uh, in mass. Uh, you talk about the relationship with the war in Gaza. We've obviously seen a massive escalation in settler violence. How much of this has been spurred on by, by the right-wing government rhetoric that we've been hearing from this very specific Israeli government? Well, no doubt that this particular government uh, is further emboldening uh, these kind of uh, actions uh, 
um, through their uh, ideological uh, connections. Uh, but uh, this government uh, is, shouldn't be disconnected from previous governments that have continued to expand the, the, the settlements throughout occupied Palestinian territory in breach of international law. And so long as those uh, violations continue to happen, regardless of the nature of the, the government, uh, that uh, will only send a message that this kind of uh, continued uh, expansionist uh, policies uh, through the different means and methods, whether it's through the military or uh, individual settlers, uh, will go unpunished. Wassam Ahmad there, the head of the Center for Applied International Law at the Palestinian Human Rights Organization, Al Haq. Thank you so much, for, sir, for joining us on Al Jazeera. Thank you for having me. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.